Bob Mahead. I might have been off a little bit. You might have been a little bit off. Just a little bit. Timer in my head. There we go. Back for another episode of the Wanger Show. We're back. Episode 81. I think that's correct. 81? Ooh, it's 80 something. 80 something. We're in the 80s. Mm -hmm. We're in the 80s, y'all. Uh, we're here with Ken Knapsack. Hey, Ken. Yeah. Or Ken Knapsack. Happy to be here. Uh, I'm noticing because you're filming this and my hair is really weird. Today. I like oh. it. I like the little, yeah, the little flake, but yeah, that yeah. that's pretty nice. Cody's I, hair is on point. I know, thank you. just started to really embrace, in honor of the late John Schnepp, like my yes. crazy bald hair. Okay. Oh, yeah. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Schnepp didn't care. He puffed that thing up. He had that hair was He nuts. had just yeah. as much or lack of hair as I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But no one could tell because he just puffed that stuff mm-hmm. up. And he was it's like, like literally a mad scientist. Like this every is who I am. My yeah. favorite thing was when he would come in for a morning show and he, his hair would be soaked from the shower. And then as the show was going on, it would <laughs> just, just go out. And I was like, just this keep is going, fantastic. I, I want to go ahead. Yeah. So I've been just embr- So I like it here. Your hair, my hair's kind of yeah. crazy. Yeah. The show here. Like, hey, guys. Like welcome. Hey, Ken. Welcome back to another episode of Wanger Show. Uh, Ken, mm-hmm. one of our favorite human beings on the planet. <laughs> Brian couldn't be here tonight, so fuck him. We got uh, Ken. No, we love Brian. Brian Beardo Perez. Mm-hmm. What is his middle name? I feel like Nicholas, right? <laughs> oh, it is. It is. It's on his email. Yeah, yeah. It's on God his email. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was, was going to mm-hmm. say Octavio. Octavio, Octavio would be pretty uh, fucking that good. That would have been a. <laughs> yeah. I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Hey, Octavio, Spider Man, it's hot right now. Yeah. Uh, we are back for another episode of the Wanger Show. Uh, we're happy to have Ken Napsock with us, uh, talking about a bunch of fun stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. We're going to get into Jessica Flash. Oh, I'm so happy you said that. Big episode. We got into it with Josh. We had Josh Pagugo on last week. Yep. We got into some big. There was actually some people commenting on it. Mm. Some fucking idiot. Oh, I, one I, of those I, comic snobs. I, I, I gotta. Like, I, I might even have to pull it up. You don't even know what you're yeah. talking about. I responded yeah. to him because yeah. it's like yeah. fuck I'm you. I've been telling you not to do that with those fans. Well, the fans hey, of that careful, show. Are I don't crazy. read the comments. Yeah. yeah, but I read the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if anyone says anything negative, then fuck them. Yeah, right? fuck them. Yeah, exactly. uh, I'll, I'll pull it up in just a second. But yeah. who the hell are you? Okay. But I'm very. I'm very much yep. excited to have you on because I just mm. the last time we had you on, it was just like me and me and Cody were just like, uh, yeah, like we just hi. we can just listen yeah. to you. Oh, mm-hmm. that's great! You, yes. you, we did a lot of ASMR talk. But yeah. Oh we yes, did. We, we did. learned a lot of things. Haircut, haircut, Harry, haircut, is that the name? Ha- haircut, Harry, <laughs> <There you go. laughs> haircut, Harry. Have you have you subscribed? <laughs> I have not looked into it. To oh, GB oh yet? Have you just subscribed no. to GB? None of them. Samuel Rift. Okay. Uh, no ASMR. I hear it every night before I go to bed. Amber listens That's to ASMR right. every yeah. single night to go to bed. It's, well, it's like, well, I as of quite late, frankly, maybe I should be doing the show with her and Cody. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Honestly, you guys should probably team up and do some. She she knows her yeah. ASMR. She really That's does. Right. Yeah. Actually, as of late though, I've been playing a lot of video games and writing a lot. So like, well, I haven't good. been. You're able to do both, huh? Oh, dude. So <laughs> it's usually so one of the other. It's true it's sign of, the of love. Yeah. Separate yeah. rooms. <laughs> yes, it really is. Oh, well, spend a little time yeah. with her. We'll go. We'll eat. We'll cook her dinner. Eat it, yeah. and then watch some American Vandal. That's what we're into right yeah. now. Oh, I have season see, two. I have to see season two. Right? Two episodes okay. in. Okay. I'm loving it. Okay. You yeah, are. I'm uh, ten minutes into the first episode. Okay. Loving right. it. Mm-hmm. Loving we're it. We're gonna finish it, and then we'll talk about it eventually. And then you know. She, because she sometimes has to go to work very early in the morning, so we're like, okay, I'm gonna either play or, or write or whatever. And then uh, I what kind did you of do with your hands. Are you like play or write? Pl- play, right. play, because you, you got just, two toggles. That was very, it was very well done. Oh play yeah, right. That's right. cool. It looks like, it's like a, a Dane Cook. Like well, play, it looks like right. a, <laughs> very funny. Yeah, uh, it looks like a se- seventh grader doing like some weird uh, sexual thing. Experimental shit. Is this how you do it? Like, what does that even do, dude? No. And then you finally get there for the first. Time in life, or like none of the things I thought <laughs> yeah. works. None all of all the technique I practice. All the techniques I practice <laughs> on the worthless. pillow not working. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you whose techniques suck. Uh, Harley Payne. I hate okay, Harley. Had the audacity, audacity to comment on last week's on our Jessica Flash talk. Okay, yeah. we'll get into it right now. Actually, okay, yeah, he says it. he says you guys don't know anything about the green bulb. See, the thing with Billy is that in the comics, he see in the comics in one the of those comics. guys. Yeah. He goes on to be a uh, teal bulb. Okay, yeah. all right. First, okay, well I'll get into that in a second. The after sucked. After he's possessed by the villain Murder Punch, he actually kills Jessica Flash. Spoiler, sorry. I mean, you're in. Yeah, we're in you, 15 seasons yeah. by now. You should know this by now. Uh, she kills Jessica Flash, making the total number of times she's died and come back over 14 and you know what that means it's like dude come on like like i'm a person okay don't at me 
Yeah. With your knowledge. With your fucking what, what is comic that? Who's that? Harley. Harley. Harley, Harley Payne. Payne. Yeah. Well, you're about to feel some pain, well, bro. Yeah. No, well, like, you know what? Let me tell you something. I yes. think it, it, it's unfair to... To, disper- to besmirch the producers of the show how to make a tough decision with yeah. Green Bulb because yeah. Teal Bulb uh, was too similar. They thought it would be too similar to NFL highlights of the Miami Dolphins. Yeah. Oh, and they thought yeah. they would lose mm-hmm. fans. Yeah. Plus, the creators of Jessica Flash and the Green Bulb, the TV show version, thought, what if we get people confused and they think it's the Green Lantern for at least a season and a See? half? See that? We'll f- go in on that. Boom, so I don't think it. you can hold that against them for taking that kind of risk. <sighs> yeah, I sure. will say, though... The Teal Bulb uh, run, it was the Mark Andreco run of Teal yeah, Bulb run. For, yeah. for DC Comics. Fantastic. When he was yeah. kind of, they flipped the switch and you saw the story from Teal Bulb's perspective, mm-hmm. it kind of made you wish Jessica Flash died a 15th time. Yeah. yeah. Though I'm a fan of Jessica, to be sure. Jessica Flash. She's great. She's, great so, great she's so brave. Yeah, so brave. Yeah. Wonderful leather jacket. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I, and those I, boots. I, and those boots. Mm-hmm. Those boots. Here. And mm-hmm. the episode in which she lost her boots. I, Fucking broke it's my a heart. Good bottle yeah. episode, yeah. actually. It's yeah. a bottle mm-hmm. episode. It's yeah. stuck. Not to be confused with the character she boots. Couldn't walk outside <laughs> yeah. because well, she know, was stuck. She was stuck in, in the apartment. Right? <laughs> she was yeah. stuck inside yeah. the apartment looking for her shoes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it turns out her enemy boots had stolen like top her boots. ten, top ten moments. Oh, she's like, I'm yeah. looking yeah. for yeah. boots. I'm like, boots is dead. It's yeah. like, no, I'm looking for boots. Right. So good. It was yeah. really good. Really yeah. good. So, anyway, it's just easy. Okay, we're human beings. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But don't worry, I don't read them. I don't read what you, don't you read say. Those no. Don't read no. those comments. No. Don't read those comments. No, I don't read them. Turn them off. Yeah, it's don't fine. read those comments. Yeah. So anyways, we'll move away from well, that. We'll negativity. move away from that. I'm excited yeah. for the third season of Jessica Flash and the oh, Green Bulb. It's going to be so good. And, uh, you, me, and Josh Bakuga, mm-hmm. we'll get together and do that reaction show. Because you guys have the best Thank you. Jessica Flash Thank and you. the Green yep. Bulb after show. There's mm-hmm. a lot of them, but I'm yeah, glad that you said that. Yeah, there is a lot of them. But there I mean, is a lot of them. There's really only one, though. Yeah, exactly. You know yes, I mean? one yes. One. There is yeah. the, that one I do enjoy on After Buzz mm-hmm. where three 12-year-olds sit down and talk about it for mm-hmm. 45 minutes. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, really Wikipedia get... is right there <laughs> yeah, yeah. easily, but mm-hmm. no, yeah. we do our research. Absolutely. That's what we do. We got this. <sighs> so... With that out of the way, uh, we'll be back with that next time. Hopefully, we got to figure out a way where we, or maybe we do commentaries on the episodes. Oh, that'd be great. That's yeah. Good. We could yeah. do that. I'm wondering how many people were just completely lost in the last 10 minutes. I, you know what? It's mm. it's the same thing with the show. Mm-hmm. You follow the show. It's <laughs> yeah. canon. It's not canon. Right. Yeah, you, you, you understand that's, what that that's was. Important. And if they don't, is there a pick wanger, up a book, put yeah. down the remote. Is there a wanger uh, a wiki? wiki? <laughs> <laughs> Could someone create that? Yeah, a wanger 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 wiki. Wiki. That'd be really fucking funny. Yeah, I need no an, one's going to do it. We but. need an afternoons with Josh and Ken wiki. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's, there's shit up here that yeah. people are like, why the fuck is there a Voss water bottle up there? That was like way back mm-hmm. in the day. Yeah. Uh, oh, this wow. great uh, symbolism in the movie Split. Yeah. Oh, it's really fantastic. Stories. Symbolism. Yeah. So... That's amazing. Before we get into the rest of the show, we got some things to plug. Uh, first of all, uh, one of the most important things um, on the Napsock Files, mm-hmm. oh. we did Hot Sizzler Nights. Oh yeah, you did. That was fun. Was it? It w- <laughs> yes, yes, it was. The show was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. The night that we had was a lot of fun. Yeah. Afterward, yes, Cody. That's uh, a whole other story. Maybe Cody we'll get was into that in a second. Rushing yeah. home. Yeah. Uh, so you if you guys, guys drive, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's a long drive. Uh, so if you want to check that out, that's a lot of fun. Um, mm-hmm. It's a fun segment that Ken does on his on his podcast feed. Yeah, and uh, you should check it out. I'll have a link for that in the description. Do uh, it. Once again, Files, Hot Sizzler Nights. I mean, I kind of want to know. Uh, we'll let you plug some stuff. <laughs> yeah, but I we'll get, know. I'll, I'll tell the story. Yeah, yeah. we'll tell okay. the story. Yeah. Uh, next, also uh, check us out on Patreon, patreoncom slash wangers is The very uh, first link you see in the description right there. All you gotta do, is click that link. Uh, if you just do a dollar, you get the show early, extended, much longer. Um, you get the whether it's audio only or if you want to listen to it on your on your way to work on the way home um, during work that's fine too just don't get fired we don't want to be reliable for that yeah and uh, also we, we are we're on video as well and you can watch us yeah. uh, in our in our pretty little faces doing that and then we also do movie commentaries we're gearing up to do a lot of the uh, DC EU or World of DC movies, that whatever piss, the fuck that they're people off at all. Not at yeah, all. No. no, we actually did record Suicide Squad already because we were just we did it with RB3. We we're trying to bank them, but mm. we'll go in order. So don't worry. Have love, no fear. I love that Robert Butler the Third. Oh, Amber scared me. Um, oh, Amber. Oh, I love. Yeah, she, she just likes to uh, jump out and scare yeah. us. Yeah. yeah. Who's Rat, who's your favorite ASM artist? <laughs> Uh, oh, she knows. She knows. So Put her many. on the spot. Uh, ASMR artist is yeah, good. I that's like good. it. Uh, I always forget you have this camera. Oh, I've yeah. been losing weight. Okay, you look good. I deadlifted my highest personal total, two hundred pounds, the other day. Ooh. But in your camera here, 
I look like I just raided a donut shop with, <laughs> with you look anger good. in my it eyes. Is this, a- this angle is the worst. I, I, I need to figure that out. I've been trying yeah. to figure out a new set idea for the longest time, it's and it's all, just no, it's, it's not it's, popping. It's to me. my issue. You nah. guys look great. You're losing you weight because right. you're on the Keto Kalen diet. <laughs> I and, used to be. Uh, uh, Cody's on the uh, you know life diet. Been He's, on the same pound you know, for uh, <laughs> last uh, ten years. So if you want to see uh, weightlifting talk uh, at Patreon.com/slash/Wangers, that's where you can find that five dollars. It's not on there. Uh, we're also uh, um, doing a lot more fun stuff uh we we did a brand new uh behind the scenes video where wangers go bowling oh yeah that was a lot of fun yeah uh we have a brand new drive through that's going to be coming out very soon um also there's a uh right now on our patreon um if you check it out uh an exclusive interview with frank luca torto oh yeah don't be your beardo brian brought his podcast back just for frank i don't know if he's bringing it back entirely but he just wanted to do it for frank so Dude, that's at least something. I saw the email that he sent it. He's like, don't be a beard or a Frank. And I just started laughing. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. that's that's amazing. His description, because it usually Out sends a description. It's just yeah. like, Beardo Did, interviews uh, Brian, Frank. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did Beardo get permission to do that? Did no. he oh. get... I mean, don't be a Beardo. He just kind of did it. He just, just kind of did, did, did it, Frank. Yeah. Beardo. Yeah. Don't be a Beardo. Don't be that. So you guys can check that out. And then for anybody that's just watching on our YouTube channel, Amateur Hour Films, uh, that will be up uh, both video and audio. On uh, Thursday, so um, if you're watching this on Wednesday for the first time, it'll be up tomorrow, and if you're watching it beyond that, it's already up. Uh, that'll be on iTunes and Spotify, and you can find our podcast feed, The Wanger Show, yeah. on iTunes, on Spotify, and also uh, subscribe to this channel, Amateur Films, where all of our stuff uh, is being uh, pushed. We put out um, our episode of Horror Flicks for the, the the Blair Witch Project, which was a lot of fun. Yeah. We got... A, we got Two, maybe three. Like we got a few ideas for a couple more horror flicks that we want to do in preparation for Halloween. Yeah, right. The season of Halloween, or maybe the movies. You see so what we'll he's see. doing here, guys. Oh. Um, mm-hmm. So those will be up um, sometime in the near future. And then obviously, we, the, the final thing we hit our goal, uh, our, our latest goal. Bug House is a horror web series that we are working on. We are currently working on the scripts. Mm-hmm. Cody sent them as we Just as, sent out the latest drafts. It's amazing. Wow. We're mm-hmm. very excited. Um, so more teasers will be announced on that. We actually made an announcement video for that, which will be out at some point. Kind of uh, the closer we get to shooting it is when I'll feel more comfortable of uh, actually announcing that because yeah. there's a lot of stuff within that that's going to be very exciting. And you guys just started a Twitter page. Right? I'm not ignoring yes. you. Yes, I pulled up my phone because I wanted to make sure me. if I was following you guys. Yes. Mm-hmm. What is it? It is at. The Wanger Show. Oh, that's easy. Okay. We started a Twitter. Well, I started Twitter, and I told Cody, and he was just like, <laughs> "All right, yeah. all right, yeah." Okay. There's too many. There's too many things. But I figured, fuck it. I, I we might as well just have the domain also, name or whatever. Also, I need to follow you. See, I'm glad I hey, remember. No worries. Okay. You also launched the Discord thing, and I was like, I don't know what this is. Neither did I. I, I oh, clicked no. on it, and I was like, I you know, legit was telling uh, the people, I was like, I don't know what's happening. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Well, I figured I out. Right? I figured out. Oh, I got it. Cam Napsock, Napsock followed you back. Oh, I nice. figured out how to um, direct message everybody on our Patreon. Yeah. At everyone. At yeah. everyone, which is great. It's a it's a great function. Um, so I just sent the Discord link to everyone, so everyone on our Patreon gets the exclusive uh, link to it. Not, it's not going to be open to the public, just for our Patreon peeps. That's smart. Which is great, and so we'll actually be answering a few questions from Fun. there. Um, and uh, yeah, so follow us on Twitter at the Wanger Show. You can get all the updates and stuff that we do. I mean, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it's it fun. goes. I, yeah, I'm a big fan of the Discord. We have the Napsack yeah. Files yeah. Discord, Patreon only, and it, it's it's a lot of fun. Hmm. Yeah, it was interesting. It was kind of toying. I literally watched a video called Discord for Dummies just hmm. to figure out how to do it. Helps you. Out. I I it only works. mine only works because a. Uh, uh, a, a listener of mine who's a patron supporter is my ad, Tim Van Newland mm-hmm. is my admin and he if not for him I would have not I would have been like I'm confused I'm out but right. now I got it now yeah. I got it yeah I'm slowly getting onto it and then uh, the final thing I've been actually I've always been meaning to plug this shit but mm. if you haven't downloaded the Patreon app I highly recommend it it's yeah. actually a really really great app uh, not just to like watch um, the content that we do, especially if like you want to watch it on your TV, that's always cool. But you know, if you're just an audio only listener, um, it's got its own RSS feed. It's really great. We do our little Snapchat filters where we keep you updated or do behind the scenes stuff. You guys just follow along with it. So download the app and follow us on Patreon. Do all those things. Plugs out of the way. Let's get into the show. All right. I was gonna say it's time to go. See you. Bye bye. Damn. Peace. That's the way of it. All right, guys. So I hot scissor like nights. Um, yes. Hot scissor nights. About this. Sorry. So. Yeah, I'll set up the show. Yeah, go right ahead, sir. I live uh, near a Sizzler. I, mm-hmm. I I enjoy bad restaurants. Uh, one night, Mark Riley and I were going to record the Napsack Files, so we went to dinner at Sizzler, and uh, unrelated, yeah. unrelated, and we had a good conversation, good dinner. But I noticed during the dinner, Mark Riley put chicken tenders on his mac and cheese. 
like dipped it inside yeah, it. No, and just, kinda... just put it on top of the mac and cheese and came back to play. And I was like, why'd you do that? He's like, well, I don't know. You know, I just felt <laughs> just like was I had compelled to. So by I the it was power interesting. of sizzler. So I thought, you know, this would be a fun show. I'll take a guest over there or guests. And so it started with my friend Lon Harris. Very funny. Uh, he enjoyed the bread pudding. Uh, JTE, the only person to uh, come on the show and reject uh, my meal entirely and just talk bad about it. Didn't mm-hmm. like it. it yeah. But then I brought you two on. Yes. You guys kind of want, you wanted this. Oh, I was very much yes. looking forward to it. Yeah. Very much dinner. looking forward mm-hmm. So I bring you guys on. Um, sometimes Sizzler food, it can like a depth charge in the deep below a submarine. It can explode. <laughs> And I noticed I don't videotape my podcast, and a lot. Some people want me to. I just don't. Ha- I don't have the I'm sure desire to. Sure, glad you didn't at that time. <laughs> if they had, they would have seen a show where me and Cobster were like Sizzler, 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 and in the corner, Cody was yeah. squished up against the wall mm-hmm. in my living room, <laughs> curled over, moving. Yeah. You you had like the Hind- Hindenburg going Look, around your I, stomach. I'm proud I kept oh, it together the, yeah. as long as I did. <laughs> like, uh, you like I literally had no the idea. First too. 45 minutes of the show, I was doing great. Everything was fine, yeah. and then it hit me, and I just started. I was like, oh god, <laughs> it's like this is not good. It was just a thing like it was happening like every three or five minutes. Yeah, and I was like, was I was like, oh, I'm good. And it's then like it kept you got contractions. Back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, oh no, and then like. Like the the show's wrapping up, I'm like, all right, thank God, we can get out of here. I can I can run somewhere. I can like, make this happen. And then Ken's like, oh, by the way, I want to thank all the uh, people on Patreon. And I was like, oh God. I was like, Ken, then like, I, then I, did I didn't I make you guys stay for like yeah what, we did extra minutes we did extra five minutes. She's like, oh yeah, sure, yeah, no problem. No. I didn't want to be a dick and be like, Ken, no, I no, I can't do this. So we did the extra show. Yeah. And it went fine. It was all yeah. good. Yeah. Um, if I stayed there an extra five minutes after though, would've I would have obliterated your bathroom. Ken. <laughs> I look I look I want I want you, know. you I want you to know now. <laughs> right now, yes. if you had said to me, "Can we do a timeout?" Yeah, do you mind turning up some music really loud? <laughs> and I I'm light gonna, a few candles. I'm in gonna the place. go into the restroom. <laughs> you and Cobster entertain yourselves. Yes, I would have understood because I looked over and I didn't want to call you out, like like an, ag- <laughs> not aggressively, but I didn't want to because I have been in that situation. Yeah, yeah. where you're like. If I just ignore this, I won't pee in this Uber. Yeah. Like if I just, I won't. My guts won't explode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I knew what you're going through because <laughs> here's the trick I've learned: when you go into Sizzler, don't have soda. Yeah. It's an activator. Uh, yeah. I've uh, I've started ever since yeah. then. I have not. I don't think I've had soda since then. By the way. <laughs> soda I, I'm, in I'm general. Because yeah. I started to think back, and I'm like, the last few times that's happened to me, I'm like, I think I had soda that night. Yeah. So I think you're onto something there. I'm okay. telling so you. I'm cutting that out when I have big meals. I'm telling you, if I go to Chipotle, which I don't do often yeah. since uh, I don't work at Collider full time anymore, you know, we'd head we'd head over to that one a yeah. lot. Yeah. If I had, let me, let me just have a, let me just have a Dr Pepper a Diet mm-hmm. Coke mix because oh, I love Mr. mixing. I think they got oh, Mr. Pibb, yeah. Pib, which I actually enjoy. I love Dr Pepper, but I do enjoy Mr. Pibb. So good, underrated. Check yeah, it, it is. And I'll mix Mr. Pibb and Diet Coke. Well, I can barely walk back to the office in time. You know. Mm. Uh, oh. Oh, look hey. At that. That's a nice. nice. That's not a Mr. Pibb. I know you didn't Pib. like that. Um, and I noticed when I stopped that, and yeah. I just had lemonade, even which is high in sugar, but yeah. Yeah. lemonade, iced tea, water. God forbid we have healthy water. I mean, <laughs> no problems. So does the activator. Yeah. I, it's it's like that Weezer video. You just, you know, pork and beans and you put the... <laughs> right. I don't think I've ever, like, exploded at anyone's house. Other than uh, Ellis's the night that I was drunk after the Maria Menounos. one of the Menounos. best nights of my life. <laughs> after uh, the Maria Menounos. I woke Menounos up to that. <laughs> Ooh, you've I've told not you even at that. my house? I didn't poop at your house. I've had, I had, I've I had. I can't poop at anyone's house. That's why I would have felt horrible. Well, I was I just... also drunk, Whew. and I also yeah. thrown up right before that yeah. too. Yeah, so. uh, yeah. There, you were I, bad shape that night. I was bad shape that night. Yeah, um, but I, I just passed out on your floor, mm-hmm. and then I think mm-hmm. I woke up in the middle of the night and I tried to throw up, and I had an like probably as far as I can remember the worst headache I've ever had in my sure. life. Sure. Um, and then I just woke up. Well, and was I home? What happened? I think. I think your roommate Lou yeah, was my, home, and he was like, "Oh, this guy's on the floor." Yes. I think I just remember hearing him say that, and then I think you came home later. Yes, and this was probably around the time where Wait, I thought you, you just went to his place no, so no, without okay. him knowing. So we went to Cobster, and I've been trying to call you Christian more, by the oh, way. Thank you, but you are Cobster too yes. to us as well. Mm-hmm. It's a sign of respect. But Cobster was a new intern yeah, yeah. producer mm-hmm. with us at Schmoes. We still yeah. didn't know him too well, mm-hmm. and we got fortunately we we're invited to Maria Menounos's house. And yep. Encino for a big birthday bash. And it's pretty cool. It's very cool. And we get there. Menounos is in a bikini, grinding on her friends. Uh, you know, it was one of those parties, right? Mm-hmm. 
Uh, she gets pulled off. She was passed out. I mean, oh, yeah, oh, she really? was out before. Alcohol else was, was flowing. Yeah. There's okay. a lot of beautiful women there. A lot of beautiful women a lot there. Of be- a lot of beautiful men Bit there. Of too. Beautiful yeah. men, too. Including uh, Makuga with his shirt on. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. I took my shirt off at one point. I too. think so. And I hate this. You like don't want to see me with my shirt. It's 2014, by the way. 2014. Anyways, long story short, I'm getting too long winded yeah. here. Um, we get into a Uber, I think. Ellis gets it. Cobster and JG have been playing beer pong for the longest time. Mm-hmm. Standing, everything's fine. You got in the car, suddenly it all hit you. Yep. Mm. And you threw up out the side of the car. Yes, I did. Oh, I threw up in her bush too. And yeah, the bush outside, <laughs> outside in the course. backyard. Yeah. Yeah, uh, before I did that, and I, I did that sneakily. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't even know that till now. That's exclusive. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah, That's in the bush. Hot exclusive. scoop. Yeah, hot mm-hmm. scoop. That bush mm-hmm. didn't grow anymore no. after that. No, <laughs> no way. So, anyways, we go, and I think we were not done partying, and I mean, not heavy partying. So we didn't know what to do. He couldn't drive. Ellis is concerned about him. I'm concerned about him. We go back to my place, and we put him on the floor of my apartment. Yes, I think we told my roommate. I wouldn't have done that to my roommate. Yeah. Just say there's some weird kids on the floor. Wrapped him. No, no. Just put him on the floor. Yeah. No blanket or anything. And my roommate came out with a blanket. Oh. <laughs> Very nice. That's nice of him. Very nice. Oh. But we weren't home. And then I came home and I slept and everything. And then I don't know what okay. happened after that. Yeah. And then I just, I, I was, because this is at a point where I was like, Ken still doesn't like me. Ken oh, still yeah. doesn't well, like yeah. me. So to be I'm honest, like, at this point, we're like, who's we the rookie that, that can't hold his yeah. liquor? Yeah, I was about to, what time is it? 2.30 in the afternoon? Yeah. What was this? That'd be really fun. Uh, it started in the afternoon. It started pretty, afternoon, yeah. But, okay. I mean, to be fair, we, we, beat, we beat Mark and Christian at beer pong. Yeah. Me and JT mm-hmm. did. Just mm-hmm. want to put JTI at the time. Mm. It was JTI. Before he yeah. evolved. I believe that was my first week as an intern at Schmoes, but I couldn't go because I had to work or something like that. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, 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 probably. Mm-hmm. I remember yeah. like, oh, man, it's my yeah, one yeah, opportunity. Yeah. yeah, but, um, mm. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I, I remember I just kept apologizing to you. Yeah. I felt awful. I was like, "Oh fuck, these guys are yeah. gonna think I'm a fucking weakling." And I did drink. I did drink a lot that night. Was it just yeah. beer? Yeah, it was just, just a beer. lot of beer. See, oh yeah, because Bud Light had like sponsored the party. Yeah, oh, and so they just kept bringing out things of Bud Light. Yeah, and so there was a point that night where everyone kind of took a break and were like, "All right, we're just gonna eat. We're gonna stop drinking for a little bit." I just kept going. Yeah, and it, yeah. that went on for o- over and over and over. And I eventually just I it, it was it was way too much. And I remember that same night. Oh, thank you, Cody. That same night. Uh, uh, oh, actually, the morning after. Uh, this was still when I was living at home. Uh, my mom, mm-hmm. she was pissed off at me because I didn't tell her where I was oh, or anything. Oh, you just ran off. Yeah. And then my girlfriend at the time was pissed off too because she knew I was at the party and I told her yeah. that I was going to be home later that night and we can like hang out or something. Oh, or that's at least. the worst. Don't and do I that. just. Flat out, like lied, like I did not. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't promise. No, you. no. And actually, I uh, before I even went mm-hmm. um, to uh, to sleep on your floor, yeah. I was sleeping in my car. That's I was in the back right. seat. Yeah. And then yeah. Ellis came knocking. I'm like, Hey, what's no, up? that is uh, that is the yeah. missing part of the story. Yes. You were out there, mm-hmm. and I think, and I'll confess to you now, I went, Well, fuck him. The kid's out in his car. <laughs> He's out in his car. As you should. Like he couldn't hold his so. liquor. He's out in the car. And yeah. Ellis, being Ellis, who's a nicer the human, greatest than human me, being on the planet, was yeah. like the kid can't do that. Uh, and then I think, all right, let's put him on my floor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good times. Good times. Good. Point We've being, so Cody, the next time you're yeah. at my house and you need a uh, 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 do the dry, business, dr- <laughs> take drop a deuce. some. Uh, <laughs> just say, just say you got to do it. I'll have you guys know too. Like as I was driving out, I, yeah. I kept eyeballing places. I'm like, can I go there? Can well, I go there? that's <laughs> but, my question. Is but, you don't live down the street like no. Cobster does. No. Mm-hmm. So like I was driving and I was like, there was a Target and all this stuff, and I'm like, ah. Uh, I'm like it was after like nine o'clock. So I'm like, oh, it's probably closed. And I'm like, you Targets probably have are to open buy. till ten. But they are. Damn it! I thought it was nine. Anyway, uh, so you guys aren't gonna believe this, but I made it all the way home. And but sometimes you can. You you buckle yeah. down. Yeah. You hold the cramps. And you start timing the contractions. Oh, I was cramping, dude. I was. Uh, <laughs> I had like my. I was gasping with my right foot. I had my left foot pressed Shake. up against the Yo, left there, yeah, just like good, like yeah. come on, that's you're gonna make it. Marissa's like, welcome, honey. We're like, oh, boom, yeah, bitch. Dude, I, I I get out of the car. I. I, no, I don't run out because I was afraid if I stretched my legs out anymore, it's going to explode out of my pants. So I'm just like power walking up to yeah. my apartment. I have to go upstairs, of course. Oh, when I go oh, up yeah. the fucking Jesus. stairs. I swing the door open. I'm like, I can't talk to you. I got to I'm like food poisoning. Just, I just randomly said that, whatever. I fucking booked it to the bathroom. Love. Yeah. Love will yeah. keep it. A little I bit love. later, I finally said, hey, how you I, doing? I, yeah. do the, uh, I do the leg shake. I do the yeah. concentration. Mm, and then, yeah. then I do the cussing. 
Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. I was like, please just get me to yeah. fucking plug. And it's the worst, too, because like your body senses yeah. that a toilet is near. Yeah. So it yeah. like it even oh, wants yeah. to force it out as even sooner. As soon as I was in the bathroom, yeah. it was like, uh, it was yeah. happening. I was like, you're, 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 uh, like, you're <laughs> struggling with your like, please, please, please help. It's help fucking me stuck. Damn that stuck. <laughs> Damn my skinny jeans. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll play. Ga- I, I yeah. like. I like play games with myself at that point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah and I go, yeah. you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get the mail. <laughs> I'm going to deny it. I'm going to stop for gas. Oh, wait. I think I. Uh, I think the earth is flat. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I think I've got to check email. Yeah. And then, <laughs> then your body's like, well, this is happening. Yeah. I, uh, you know, my, my complex, too, there's so many speed bumps. In my oh place. Oh my god! So I, yes. And they're steep, so I gotta yeah. hit those things so slow. slow. And it, like every time I land, I was like, "Oh god!" Every yeah. time I'm there, yeah. I scrape the bottom of my car every yeah. single time. It's bad. It's uh, oh. well. I'm glad you survived. Cody. I did you got survive. Through it. Next time, I will survive. Next time, my uh, bathroom is yours, sir. Oh, I'll crank up that. some uh, Metallica. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Just so you turn up your bass in your car. Yeah. Yeah. Just <laughs> super loud. Yeah. I miss uh, I miss just like restaurants like that because we don't really go to like yeah. I mean, there's not really even one like like a I'm trying to think besides like Sizzler there's not really a Chili's around here either hmm. mm, yeah. I can't think of one around no here. for us you got to either go back to the one uh, where we went to all the post schmoes mm-hmm. shows the Casino one those are some of my and the, favorite yeah. meals oh. and and the one I went to every Monday night for like four years in Northridge yeah. Uh, at five o'clock, me and my friend uh, Matt and my friend Rod, we'd show up there in the bar, and Stephanie, the waitress, would have our drinks waiting for us. Oh. That's how much I went to that Chili's. That's oh, nice. Yeah, which is why I've got health problems. <laughs> <laughs> it was also the Chili's where the waitress refused like my nineteenth Dr Pepper refill. Oh, I was like, no, sir. Dr Pepper, we're gonna yeah. cut you off. This is why, <laughs> in two thousand ten, my doctor was like, I think you might have a. Sugar problem. Yeah. Right? yeah. Oh, I'm the same way. I drink so much. I sh- I used to drink a lot of. I've, I've uh, stopped. Soda. I've sl- yeah. I've slowed it down. I've slowed it down yeah. a lot more too. Um, but it's hard because I loved, it, like not as so much as a kid. I think it just might have been in high school, like the the video game era. Like yeah, we like me and my buddy would just share a two liter bottle of soda yeah. playing video games all night uh, yeah. long. And when you're kids, you can do that. But yeah, the the audacity of youth. Yeah, the arrogance of youth. Uh, in 1996, me and my friend Blair and his girlfriend at the time, Lauren, would sit there and play Goldeneye on the 64. Oh, yeah. We'd get two things of Chips Ahoy, knock those out. Oh, yeah. And his mm-hmm. mom and dad just had, like, unlimited soda supplies. So we'd sit there, you know, just down in Pepsis. Yeah. I remember Pepsis. <laughs> yep. Not Pepsi. even diet. Uh, and not that that's any better, of course. And then just Chips Ahoy and Pepsi. Mm-hmm. And I'm wondering why 10 years later, my doctor's like, yeah. I have a <laughs> pre-diabetic issue. A little <laughs> issue. I'm yeah. like, I'm shocked. I don't have fucking diabetes because of how much. But that's a, most of our take. country. Yeah, most yeah. of our country. It's crazy. What are the kids drinking now? Like, what are the kids doing? Is it Lacroix? Is that the fucking <sighs> shit that everyone's drinking? LaCroix. Soda water. I don't mind it. I I know Harloff loves it, and I, yeah. God bless him for it because it helped him get rid of soda. Yeah, I'm addicted to those Zevias. Zevias. Um, my wife old. does that. She you likes like my those wife. sodas. Yeah, my wife. Uh, she's been buying those lately, the little okay. blue ones, and then okay. the root beer flavored ones. She likes too. She like those. Yeah. Truck. Because do you like them? I don't. And well, she was really bumming when I told well, her I Well, here, like I do it. recommend, and I don't want to be one of those. Like, you just haven't found the right sushi yeah. place. Um, <laughs> I don't want to be that person. It's like every LA person. Yeah. 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 Um, oh, you don't like tapas? You haven't been to the tapas I go to. <laughs> it's right where I do yeah. yoga. <laughs> yeah, it's, I go to hot yoga. It's in Los Feliz. After my audition. Yeah, um, and that's just Makuga saying that. Um, <laughs> no, uh, there are myriad flavors, and I <laughs> suggest maybe trying some of the other flavors. Okay, mm. give it a shot. Uh, partial to the Dr. Zevia, mm. uh, mm-hmm. the strawberry. Mm. The lemon lime. Uh, there is a I, Mountain Dew version called Mountain Zevia. Oh. I don't recommend that one. Okay, I miss Mountain away. Dew so much. Yeah. I love Code, Code Red, Red was the best. Code Red. Yes. Should we make out? Code yeah, Red was like illegal in 1360. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should have been. Yeah. It's like that Four loco stuff. Yeah. Oh, one God. night in the old, <laughs> the old job. One night in the old job. Within like, I'm not joking, in the span of two hours, three kids, we had to send to the emergency room overdosing in Four loco. Oh, really? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Those were like yeah. all the rage in like 2010. Mm-hmm. Man. They were uh, like, that was, yeah. the, that was yeah. the year. Yeah, yeah. I think my ex had one one time. Is she going to handle the whole thing? Mm-hmm. She's I thought, up all over the place. I thought this 15-year-old kid was going to die on me. Mm-hmm. We're waiting for LAFD to show up, and like they show up, and we're like four loco again. They're like, "You kidding me?" Like, no, this Jesus. is the third time. This is the fourth time. This is third time. <laughs> third it's time. Crazy. We're gonna my stand up. Fourth. Hey. Yeah. Anyways, uh, anyways, try. It's crazy. Oh, you just yeah. Thanks. Damn. Uh, it took, uh, took a fucking second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You taking I'm that gonna... word away from me now? All no, right. No, yeah. I dabbled into it. All right. You dabbled. Yeah. 
Um, oh, you wangers. I know, I know it's not any better, but I went home this weekend, and my family, because my mom, every time my mom shops, she goes to Costco, and she just stacks up on everything. Like, Everything's got to be, like, multiplied and have yeah. a shit ton. So she's got, like, a 30-pack of Cactus Cooler. <laughs> oh, wow. <sighs> Cactus, Cactus Cooler. Cooler. So good. I don't blame her, because I, I went to Costco once, and I got this, like, 48-pack of Sunny D. And I was oh, like, yeah. I don't even drink Sunny D. <laughs> but I was like, that's such a good deal. Yes. And we I got know. it, and it took me like months to drink. Yeah. yeah. So my friend, the same one that I used to play Goldeneye at, yeah. <laughs> they lived, his family lived in a double-wide trailer. and it, But, you know, uh-huh. it's pretty luxurious, yes. right? You know. But uh, in my hometown, Napoma, California, no joke, mm-hmm. they used to Costco shop. I pa- passed by, there was two stacks of dog food. And I went, Blair, you don't have a dog. He went, <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is what my dad bought. At Costco. <laughs> Costco's great. My parents, every time, we've been, me and Amber have been trying to get like a new bed frame and, and oh, new bread, bed in general. That's every more time. love than being in separate rooms. Oh, <laughs> our, our bed, is, ever since we moved in, our bed is just on the floor. Mm. But we, we like it. We don't mind like it. Like you're in a dorm? Yeah. It's mm. actually kind of cool. But we've been trying to figure it out. And my parents always like, go to Costco, go to Sam's Club. And I was like, right. I don't have one. I don't have a card. They won't right. let me in. I'll go for their pizza. I like, I like the, the pizza. Costco good. pizza. Yeah. It's really good. Pizza's good. They're like uh, um, Costco brand jeans. Oh, okay. I, uh, there's some never bought the right. jeans there. Yeah, yeah. I, aren't I, they? Uh, oh, what are their drinks? The the the, the drinks. Kirk, 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 Kirkland. 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 I, Kirkland. I, I got yes, a bottle of uh, Kirkland vodka that lasted me a very long oh, time. Okay, Kirkland. it was huge. Okay, I, no Kroger is the Ralphs of the mm. East Coast. Like they're the okay. same company. Mm-hmm. Kirkwood, yeah, Kirk Kirkwood, Kirkland, Kirk Kirkland, Kirk Douglas. Mm-hmm. It's really good stuff. Kirkland. Pacifico. You should drink it. Please sponsor us. I'll shut up now. Okay. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, big mm. bulks of drinks and Bulks. Mm. Yeah. Bulks. Um, so uh, what do you guys do when Brian's not here? Do you just uh, talk bad about him? <laughs> no, actually. Surprisingly, no. no. I think we did initially, and then At he the just beginning. kept missing yeah. shows, and they were like, we should probably just stop. Yeah. At this point. Yeah, we've but, said it before though. Yeah, it's like yeah. we can't blame him for having a job, no, you know, yeah. and like because no. that's what, like where he is right now. Yeah, but also he, I mean, we can blame him because he did take that position of the job. I yeah, yeah you can't. Makes he it a little harder the for risks. us. I like Brian. He knew the risks. I like yeah. Brian a lot. Brian's yeah. a he's a tough egg to crack, but once you yes. do, there's he's a, a sneakily funny guy. Yeah, he's, yeah. Well, he's yeah. really funny, mm-hmm. and he's just so oddly, I don't know how to fr- like. He's not an arrogant man, but he's very confident in who he is. Yeah, what he knows. And he just kind of has that look where you're like, uh, hey, something, something. He's just like, yeah, well, he, he's why like, why would you do that? He, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. He's the perfect kid uh, to, like, like if you went to middle school or high school with him, he would have been the perfect guy to give him your book report and critique it. He would have been honest. It. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, he yeah. is, like, like when we're working on our side project, like, he yeah. is flat out honest. Yeah, he uh, tore that. my script to shreds yeah. really? a couple weeks really ago. really did. And I was like, it was eye-opening, and it helped make, I think, a stronger mm-hmm. product, so I yeah. appreciated it for it. But and I, I, and I, like, I, think, oh. I think we just need more of that, because everyone's yeah. so... Yeah, you're right. Everyone's so safe all the time, and he's not one to be safe. Yeah. You know? Yeah, To yeah. a certain extent. No, I, no, I agree. And, and, and be very, you know, his opinion is, is his opinion. And, and uh, I, 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 I respect that about it. Yeah, yeah, I really do like, like, Beardo. I like Beardo. I like him a lot, too. Yeah. 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 I don't and know he's why I decided to start a campaign against him here. I, was, <laughs> I, feel bad well, I think there. for the longest time, like when we were doing the Schmo show, there was a little, like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. I had no idea who he was. He had an awkward introduction because he yeah. was kind of on the show. And then we did the Halloween episode, and it comes out as a... Uh, Jim Carrey and Dumber Dumber, and he's just like silent as they're talking yeah. to him. And he's like, yeah. and he didn't even have know. a beard at that point. No, no, no he, he wasn't. Sh- he, sh- he shaved yeah. it for the for Halloween the thing, thing. and it, it was really awkward. I felt so bad well, for him. That was also during the era towards the end of that run of Phase Six, which is, appears to be the, the final run. Yeah, where like at this point, if you showed up and I didn't know who you were, I didn't take the time to introduce myself. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this is I don't know what's happening. Here. Yeah, I don't know who you are, Beardo. Okay. Yeah. That's what we're calling you? That's what we're Cause, doing cause now? Because you have a beard? Yeah. All right. I, I guess, guess so. We, we'd slid yeah. down that far from <laughs> Corporal Upham. Beardo. <laughs> you, never, you never stuck with that, though, which is good. No, because I didn't like the nickname. Yeah. It, it brought back a bad story. Yeah. <laughs> that's very true. Yeah. I, I was hung over that day. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's all yeah. right. That's all right. Oh, I yeah. never even really, like, that Comic-Con day, like, I was just like, no, oh, yeah, you 
that's what you know. it spawned from, right? Yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Him, him, allegedly, it was comically, but it, it yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, leaving. Yeah. Like, well, you you had just joined us a week prior. Yeah, yeah and I, I was going to Comic Con beforehand. Paid for my hotel. I was going with my friends. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then you know, awkwardly you didn't know us. You didn't know us anything. Yeah, no. and I, I just awkwardly ran into him on the crosswalk, yeah. and we were, we were crossing, and there was I was it was bad. Yeah. I just in classic right, Cody man. fashion, At least you didn't I was like, sleep on the floor. Yeah, you at least I do never on the I slept on the grass before. I you have though, mm-hmm. just the, just the for your before. own. I didn't sleep overnight, but I slept for a couple hours on the grass. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. I still feel bad about that. Mm-hmm. That was the worst. Come I will come. never. I highly recommend to never fucking sleep. On the floor for Hall H. It's it's not worth it at it's all. It's just not worth it's it. It's not worth it. No. no. Panels suck. Yeah. They, they are do. not good. Panels they do. are horrible. Yeah. Yes. The only ones that I was legitimately excited for this year, and I didn't even, this was the first year I went to Comic-Con, I didn't go to Hall H. It right, was right. wonderful. Oh, yeah. It was lovely. Yeah. But the only ones I was looking forward to was like Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Like, and I don't even sure. watch Better Call Saul. I just want yeah. to see those people talk. Yeah. And sure. normally I, it would be like the Game of Thrones. But like they're always just like oh, the Game of Thrones panels are the, the worst. worst. Yeah, the they're the worst. worst. Yeah, because yeah. they can't cheer, show anything. You ch- they show a clip you've already seen. Mm-hmm. The cast comes out. Yay, that's cool. The best part was often you'd see them out at hotels or parties and mm-hmm. everything. But on the panel, they all come out. They all say the same answer. Well, like, I can't really say. What's going to... I can't it's say. It's so weird. They I might have to dance around me. this question here without giving but away spoilers. The audience will still ask, do you think that you'll die in <laughs> yeah. season next? Well, I can't really yeah. say now, can I? <laughs> uh, I'm DJing later I, tonight. Yeah, well, and I love Hodor. Hodor. Christian Narn. Horrible host. Yeah. Mm. They had him do the last one I saw. He was a moderator. Mm-hmm. Not everyone can moderate, even people who listed on the resume. Yes. It's <laughs> a skill. And he's the wor- he was the worst. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, I was fortunate. I set a password at a door, mm-hmm. and I got in. Yeah. And I have to wait. Yeah. And I'm thinking, there's people who traveled from Nebraska, mm-hmm. spent their life savings for that year, and yep. are sleeping on a sidewalk for days. And now that could be its own fun experience. Copster yeah. shakes his head. Oh, um, no, no, no. Well, it, I, it's I, communal. It's I think barbaric. There can be a fun experience. Because that yeah. first year, me and JT, we yeah. met a very, very nice family that was mm-hmm. from San Diego. Right. Which they said, excuse me. Yeah. Because I'm burping too many times. They said they do this every year. Okay. Um, their family. I forget where they said their other family was, but mm-hmm. they literally they, they live like right down the block right. from where uh, the convention center is, and they do it every single year. And um, they 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 were just so they were just lovely people, and like they just it's loved communal. it's communal, it's very yeah. communal. and it's a really big rush. Like once you get in, you know, yeah. if you're in that last tent, you're like, do you think we're gonna do? It's like nine forty five, and the panel starts at ten. You're like, we're we gonna get in. Yeah. Oh well, my god. You're, you're and then they like you're delusional. Yeah. You're delirious yeah. Yeah. at this point. Mm-hmm. Not it's, delusional. Well, you might be delusional. It's, yeah. But yeah. Here, I want to. I'm not, and I don't want to take away anyone's joy. If you like that, yeah, I get it. To each own. I feel bad. I don't feel like oh, you're beneath me. I feel bad when I'm sitting in those panels. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is what you spent two days for? Yeah. Kaylee Kauko going, you, whatever her name is. Yeah, Big Bang Theory's not insulting to nerds at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you waited for? Yeah. <laughs> I, f- I feel bad. It, it would feel Blooper earned. reel. Yeah, exactly. Let's show that it's, now. it's always a blooper reel. Yeah. The Walking Dead blooper reel. It's going to be on yeah. YouTube it would always, two seconds later. There's actually one fun year where yeah. Walking Dead like made like a, a parody of like, because I think one season ended them with like in a train, mm. and then it was like here's a scene from the final episode, and it was like them still in the train, like them yeah. being kind of self aware about it, and then they're like, oh, we're gonna go on for ten more years. Well, yeah, and look, and the Force Awakens panel ended with a concert. That was now cool. that is a that different cool. experience, and not every panel can Poor do Kevin that. Smith. <laughs> yes, and poor Kevin Smith. Yeah, yeah, was upset. His panel's next. Um, but yeah, it, it would feel earned, especially if they didn't release the trailers. Uh, on social media, yeah, you know that 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 they kind of have to at this point. At now, this point, that's just how everything them. is like marketed yeah. now. But I mean, even when that first year, like that Age of Ultron trailer, didn't drop until like January of that mm-hmm. following year. Mad Max Fury Road, I think. I yeah. remember we saw right. that stuff. Like none of that stuff was posted that same weekend. Um, but was now, Infinity War well, that took a while. That's like a, Infinity War yeah, I never was saw that one. last oh. year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was the first time. But yeah, yeah, that that trailer didn't mm-hmm. drop, and then they showed it again at D twenty three a week later. Um, last it there, oh, last yeah. Jedi, that's not even that yeah. was at Star Wars Celebration. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And uh, and and the Star Wars Celebration panels are better. They're better. Oh, they're fun. And, they're, and I'll yeah. tell you why because they they have a team. They put them on. It's mm-hmm. more of a show. Josh Gad was a great moderator. Oh, he was like fucking great. It's a different experience. Um, the San Diego Comic Con one did it. Weird. Who did it at uh, um, Warwick Davis? 
Yes, he did. He one did of, one. He, he yeah. did one of them. Yeah, he's great yeah. as well. He was. He was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, that was one, a, yeah. that was a good year. Fuck, I cried so hard at that one. Oh, Star Wars Celebration. Yeah, Car- yeah Carrie yeah. Fisher. Oh, I thought you were talking about when I defeated uh, Whitworth for the championship. It was a very I did emotional cry at moment one. for all oh, of us, okay. and I oh, cried right, from enough. home. Yeah, fair. Mm-hmm. that was a lot of fun, actually. That yeah. was fun too. But yeah, Star Wars Celebration was unlike any convention I've ever been in. I, I don't know if I'm going to 2019, but I, I hope I, I do. Chicago, right? Chicago, yeah. That would be mm. fun. Yeah, that'd be cool. But I don't know. We'll see. Get mm. some pizza. Oh, Get I some deep dish. Yeah. I had some pizza today. Fuck, I forgot it at work. Oh, man. That's the second time yeah, I did that. You like two or three slices Dude, just I, waiting for you? I left, uh, I left like, uh, uh, Buffalo Wild Wing chicken strips. Yeah, I smelled that for weeks. Uh, but it, it wasn't, Weeks? That was just no a week. That was a week or two. Maybe two weeks. No May one, have been no plural. No one ate it. Nobody ate it. It was our personal fridge. Yeah. Oh, we the have a personal side editor's one that we have. Oh, that's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's sometimes great. Dorian likes to put his fucking beer in. Did he pay for it? Yeah, he did. Now, Roca it's bought my fridge. fridge. That's Your right. Fridge. He has that right that, there that in the... my uh, fridge he mm-hmm. bought. Oh, Because okay. when I got laid off, I took everything. Yes. I had ever packed up in boxes, and I had that fridge. I had had it at the mall. It was like a tradi- I carried around to screen junkies. Mm. I was there at screen junkies, and the last day there, I took it out. Um, but this time around, I was like, well, uh, I can't take it. And yeah. Thad was like, well, you know, we'll keep it in here. You can come get it later. And then Roca comes at me one day. He's like, hey. Are you using that fridge? I'm like, it's for sale. <laughs> they purchase it, but that's a smart idea. I highly endorse private fridges because hmm. office theft of uh, food and fridges. Oh, it's real. It's high. We, I think I've told us maybe on the Schmoes. We one time at, at the mall when I was assistant director, uh, the director, um, right before I got hired, I, 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 well, they f- fired someone for stealing a slice of pizza. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. About to say, it was that's in, the case. From the fridge? Oh, yeah. Jesus. It, employee theft. Wow. And a guy, because the guy came back, was like, I bought a pizza. Chris, you got to check on that pizza hard. tomorrow yeah. when you <laughs> yeah. get yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. This, one of our employees came back. He bought a pizza. He put it in the fridge. No, like, take one, nothing. Wow. Yeah. Hadn't even eaten it. And he comes back, slices missing. And we, they traced it to this one guy, and the guy was leaving. And, and the, my boss saw him as he passes his office. He goes, hey, Pete, come in here. You got some red sauce on you Yeah, there. did you, uh, Cut you take red a sauce slice handed. of pizza? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, uh, yeah, yeah. It's cool. Uh, you're you're uh, going to HR tomorrow. You're uh, fired for employee theft, and it, w- it went through. It sailed. Jesus he was fired. Christ! He was fired. <laughs> Stop stealing from fridges. Yeah, don't steal it. Stop it, Frank. You fuck, Frank. Nah, no, Frank. Frank, Frank owns Frank a stake in that fridge. He has he yeah, has at sure. least a shelf on there. Uh, no, yeah. I think he sold his share. That's right. That's yeah. right. Probably there was a huge debacle. Yeah. Okay, so I went to so when. Oh wow. Was that a burp? I like how you tried to hide the burp and then you went I to well, sneak you and you just kept Pacifico burping. Pacifico and yeah. that's the yeah. problem. I'm yeah. burping too. Yeah. And I'm, I'm trying to hold it because I had a tuna sandwich <laughs> and it's, I'm, I feel sorry for you guys. <laughs> oh, I, I smell nothing. Yeah. Um, You're a peach. Yes. <laughs> Uh, we when we Frank owned first, stock in the Collider fridge. Okay, we yeah, all do. So, yeah, I think we all do. Uh, when I when we first moved into uh, the the, new, the old uh, Schmo's office, it was the post office. The post office is what we call, as, it. as you recall, oh, the we, old office. Yeah, yes. we did. And, and the, the, the first old building. Collider office. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was like, oh, let's, we'll get ourselves a little fridge, yeah. you know, because we used to, we used to, ha- we used to have like a, a end of the day or five o'clock beer hour, you mm-hmm. know, or just say like, Frank every single time at like five, five o'clock right. or five thirty, uh, would set off the t- the countdown <laughs> ten <laughs> nine eight seven six five four three two one, and we'd all get a beer from it as we were like finishing up work or whatever. It was a nice little tradition yeah. that we, we had. Gotta bring that back. Well, we don't have a fucking office anymore. Well, okay. Oh yeah, you're we'll out in the we'll open. It's we'll your fault. No, I, sorry. Yeah. I, it was attacking you, right? Jesus and Christ. And then so I was like, I want to buy a, a mini fridge. So I went to Target. I picked it up, hmm. came back, and then these guys like gave me money. I think you gave me like forty for it. I gave you. I wanted to have a pretty good yeah. share. Of you had like a, you had like <laughs> yeah. a good amount of share. Yeah. Frank gave me like twenty. Okay, he owns one shelf. Yeah. I like think, but I, but I, 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 I wanted to make sure you were the majority stockholder yeah. in this. Yeah. Like you needed that fifty one percent, fifty one percent. Yeah, and then in comes this, power. Yeah. in comes this new guy with a with a four pack of fucking Red Bull mm-hmm. and yeah. kicks the door down, yeah. and it's Joey Rasul. Joey on we, his first day. Oh, we hated Joey for the longest time. He just because comes and acting like he can just own yeah, this fridge. just like oh, there is a fridge. So like not even just hey, do you mind if I 
doesn't you mind if ask I, around. No. Doesn't even ask. Not even that. He puts it in there. Yeah, you're right. He kicks oh, the yeah. door. Like, like not even looking. Kicks look it, it like, shut. Because he, he like, can't open. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm like, the no. audacity. This fucking did guy. You, how, did you eventually confront him we on did, Yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Did you come to good terms with him Yeah, because they were like, fuck, this guy's really we good at his job. It. We laughed about yeah. it. He's good. He's good. really good at his job. He's good. I knew Joey. I didn't know Joey. We used to go to the same parties. Joey oh. fucking knows everybody. Well, he knows like Dude. Matt Key and Matt yeah. Mercer mm-hmm. and Jack Conway, all these people I run around with. And I didn't know it. And all of a sudden one day I said something and he goes, oh, I was at this party. And I was like, well, I was at the party too. We were literally <laughs> like standing next to each other yeah. and didn't know each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyways, long story short, Frank yeah. uh, and uh, you guys bought a fridge and Joey, a mini fridge. Joey stole it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, he did. Um, so now, now Dorian we have... uses it. Yeah. Yeah, Dorian. Is, is there like fine. a 5% share that's just open to the public? Are we a publicly uh, owned company? I, I don't want it. Because if you are, I'll buy the rest <laughs> and block anyone else from using it. Yeah. Well, at least uh, Dorian puts in uh, Blue Moon in there. So It's a good thing to put in. Yeah. Okay. yeah. As long it's as you okay. can have some. Yeah. 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 I think yeah. we might have. I, think we I didn't seen. drink one. I almost did. I think we might I almost did. I might have stolen there. one. Yeah. Okay. So you're fine now, Dorian, as long as we can steal it's one. It's fair. Yeah. It's fair. It's your fridge. I deem it as, I deem it as fair. Yeah. yeah. I deem it as fair. Um, mm-hmm. I went to the beach this weekend. The did beach. Can you tell that I'm. Well, oh, you're oh, sunburned. Yeah. You're, uh, oh my God, that's yeah. awful! I can see your bra strap. That's there, man. disgusting. You, I didn't you know you had a, it, huh? I didn't know you had a tattoo. What's it oh, say? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Faith Ten Forever is what it says. Gotcha. So yeah, you're a skater. I'm days. not a religious yeah. guy. Okay. I'm not. Uh, one of my buddies, mm-hmm. um, one of my good friends, playing baseball, he mm-hmm. uh, was injured in a football accident okay. and paralyzed from the waist down. Mm. And so his like. Promotional his slogan his eventually slogan. was his his number in baseball was ten. Yeah. So we put faith in front of that, slapped together, and that was kind of like their organization that they sort of created, like oh, Faith Ten, faith. Like faith Ten Foundation, okay. I think is what it was. So you still talk to him? Yeah, actually, he just had a casino night. Um, they have about they have like one um, sort of fundraiser a year. Yeah, and they had a casino night this year in Anaheim, mm-hmm. which was a lot of fun. It was cool. Like, well, we just you, it is, and this is still an active charity. Yeah, yeah, it's still ongoing. Why yeah. don't you give me the information? I've got the Knapsack Files uh, charity spotlight page. And oh, we'll, and we'll put it on there. Okay, there we Let's go. Yeah. We'll All put right. it on there. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah I'll like find the... some links and I'll, and I'll yeah. send it to you. Well, and yeah. I'll show you the format. You write it up okay. and you, why you nominated it and it's a thing. I like putting that Wonderful. out there. Yeah. We'll oh, do I love that. it. We'll do okay. that. Okay. Yeah. See, yeah. That, that was just delightful. That, that was great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great. and he just he and and crazy enough Mm -hmm. uh, not just because of his condition but also because I've known him for so many years he's a father now oh wow it's fucking crazy I met the little tiger and he's just big old dome got the same eyes got the same look as him it's nuts and I uh, wanted to cry I loved it and so uh, he's still paralyzed Yes. Then. Okay. Yes, okay. I know because yeah. I mean, there's sometimes great advancements yes. and stuff. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I admire that greatly. Oh yeah, yeah. I. It's, it's great. It's been walk around in my Converse and I need to sit, and I'm like, <laughs> I give up. Yeah. And yeah. I don't mean that as even as a joke. Mm-hmm. And I look at that. And it's like, I guess you don't know your strength till you have it, till you need it. Oh yeah. And but this, I, I look at that. And he. I, I can't, he's yeah. like. Like, if he would have went on to play baseball, because he got injured in a yeah. football accident, so he would play football in the off time of, of when right. baseball season was He's a regular Bo Jackson. Yes. Yes, right. he was. And uh, he was, like, the greatest baseball mm. player ever. Like, mm. if he would have kept it's playing, he fucking, he I think, gone. for sure would have gone. Would have yeah. gone. Easily. Well, God bless him. Yeah. There God bless the grace of God go I. And uh, what, yes. what's his name? Again? Blake. Blake. Blake Browning. Good buddy. Good yeah. buddy. Yeah. yeah. Right. Had a lot of fun. Fun encounters with that kid. Yeah, yeah, I love that guy. Well, I'm glad uh, I asked about the tattoo and made yeah, a smart ass yeah, remark about it uh, beforehand. No, that's fine. Anyways, Nobody. I mean, I don't flaunt like when I was in college. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna wear fucking tank tops. <laughs> fucking cool. Uh, yeah. No, I'm just like, oh, I have it. It's a personal thing. You yeah. know, it's not for showing off. Well, you know, when you took your shirt off at the Menounos party, I was looking at Kathy Kelly dancing by the pool <laughs> the other side. So I think I was too. Yeah. Well, yeah. There's a funny story with that actually. Okay. Kathy was very inebriated. Mm-hmm. She was dancing with a, a male friend, but I, I know he was he was a gay guy. This is I why I admire it, it. You know, it was 2014. She she, yeah. she felt so safe, and uh, and I'm drinking with a friend at the party, mm-hmm. and we got caught looking, but not looking in like some <laughs> looking yeah. just like. What are we watching? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're both staring, and then we look over, and there's two girls on the other side of the pool, and they're looking at us. Yeah, like look at those jerks. And so we're like, let's leave the party now. Yeah, Where's Cobster and JT? We've been, <laughs> we've gone too far. Yeah, there was a point in that night where Riley Makuga, I don't know if I think Tom was there. Tom mm-hmm. was there. Yeah, yes, he was. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if he jumped in or not. He see, he doesn't seem like the type that would just jump into a pool, but they all jumped into yeah, the pool. Yeah, they jumped into the pool. Yeah, and then I jumped into the pool. Because it was like a neon party, ah, right? Yeah, it was a neon party. Yeah, and I took my 
gross ass yep. neon shirt that I got from like Sadie Hawkins. Yeah, and Sadie I just, Hawkins. Yeah, huh? all mm-hmm. right. It was a neon night that night too. Nice. <laughs> and uh, mm-hmm. jumped in that pool, and I I remember I was super worried because I. I thought I'd lost Christian's flip phone because, of course, Christian was like, you know, film some stuff. We'll put it on SK+. Plus. Sure, oh, flip sure. camera. Flip camera. Okay, Did I, I say flip, flip phone? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was like, Christian flip has camera. a flip phone? Yeah. No, flip okay. camera. Excuse okay. me. And for the longest time, I thought I lost it, and then I eventually found it. Mm. That's fine. Mm. Great story. Mm. You know, no, I, that, that neon party, I... Um, I thought it'd be funny, and I wore. I went and bought a, a reflector vest for a construction crew. Yes, I do remember this. And I, <laughs> there's a picture on it. There's Instagram. a picture, yeah. and I put it on, thinking this will be great. I showed up. Maria's personal bodyguard Joe walks up to me and goes, "Are you a cop?" And he went, "No." And he was. I was like, "Ha!" And he's like, "No. Are you? What are you?" I was like, "I'm oh. uh, dressed up for the it's, neon it's party in a neon and reflective construction vest." And he was like, "Okay, all right." <laughs> And I took it off as soon as I could. <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. Yeah. You went to the beach, you were saying. I cut you off. Oh, Wait, yeah. How yeah. did the beach what go? What beach did you go to? Uh, I was going to say Huntington, but no. It was Pol- Bolsa Chica. Where the hell is that? Bolsa it's it's Chica. right next to Huntington. Okay. It's like on, like, you, we were like in the because border. Because Huntington Beach is the worst, and I never want to go there again. No, it, parking is, you put on a great little it fun fact. It was one of my favorite fun life. facts I've done. The parking yeah. in Newport Beach is much better than the parking at Huntington Beach. I mean, yes. LA beaches are yeah. horrendous. Yeah, overall. yeah. Mm-hmm. I think you go so when you if you can literally take because I live right near Beach Boulevard, and if you take Beach mm. Boulevard all the way down, it, it takes you right to the beach. Oh yeah. And if you keep going, which way is that way? East. Sure. I keep going so. east. Yeah. On um on that street, whatever it is, and you'll hit Bolsa Chica. Mm. So it's like Bo- Huntington Chica. Beach, Bolsa Chica is right next to it, right. and like uh, Malibu and Zuma Beach or something. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. And okay. so um, yeah, uh, I had family that um had an RV out there, and then we had like family friends that were staying out there. So oh, we just fun. we went out for the day. I'm not a big fan of the beach. I don't really like the beach. I get bored after two minutes. Me, I me just do. Yeah. I don't. But like, I and I grew up at Pismo yeah. Beach. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just like, you know. Everyone, it's just funny because like my whole family, they they know like I I can be very like I don't get out that much, I don't uh-huh. go out that much. Jerk. And they were just like, yeah, and they were like, oh, you you you're out here out and about. You're you're yeah. like you know you're out you're outside. I'm like, yeah, I don't really like it. Like yeah. vampires aren't supposed to be in the sun, yeah. you know. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm super pale. Like yeah. I, I haven't yeah. noticed how pale yeah. I was. So I just I just sat in the sun for like six hours that day oh. and just got red. And you should have seen me at Target last night, just this fucking Your red, red person walking in and getting <laughs> aloe vera. <laughs> I yeah, thought you were the Target logo. Yeah, no, I was. That's I funny. told who did I tell? I told Makuga. I was like, yeah, they thought I. Th- I felt like I. They thought I was like fucking a tar- Target employee because yeah, I was so like, red. Like, oh, your red shirt. Mm-hmm. You didn't put any lotion on. I did. Yeah, but like I did. 10, it clearly did. Ten SBF. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't remember what it was. It was like a kid spray. Oh, that so might it have wasn't. been your first problem. <laughs> yeah, would have worked for. Well, me my cousin was like, "Oh, yeah, we got to get yeah. rid of it." So, yeah. well, I look. I so here's like, like Pismo Beach is a cold beach, so it's like 55 degrees. The water's like nice. 50 degrees. I like that. Yes. Idea. Yeah. So when I would go, you can go swim trunks and all that stuff, boogie boarding like it is. Get, but now when I go, it's with a hoodie, yeah, uh, full, you know, workout pants and sneakers on, and like mm. it's relaxing. It's a different kind of experience. Okay. Than going to the beach, putting out a towel and some yeah. chairs and let's barbecue with some sand on our meat like mm-hmm. i like the idea of going to like for a bonfire going like later at, at later night, night. Yeah. i think it's a away. lot more relaxing it's a lot yeah. less stressful and that's very I think true it's a lot there's something spiritual yeah. at the end of the world you know you're at yeah. the end of the world you're staring out yeah oh life's a whole bunch of possibilities mm-hmm. unfolding out in front of me i'm cold i'm going home yeah <laughs> or just imagine a meteor going right into the water i'm <laughs> fucked yeah yeah right there I was I was explaining to my brother body surfing because he didn't know what that was. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm not loved, good at it at all. Oh, it's really? so much fun. Mm-hmm. He's like, "What's that?" And then you he saw some it? kid uh, skimboarding. He's skimboarding. Like, that, he's like, "Is that it?" I'm like, "No, that's skimboarding." He's like, "What's right. that?" I'm like, "Dummy." Oh my god. Yeah, dummy. You fuck. I'm you dumb afraid. Fuck. I'm afraid to swim out if I can't feel the bottom. Like, you're a smart man. Yeah. You're yeah. a smart freak man. Freak out. I'm like, yeah. I'm going back. Yeah. I, I never man. went too far. Yeah. No, you never go too far. I don't because it's like here's you're in the ocean. Cold, cold. All right, your feet get used to it. Sand, sand. This monsters, hard, squishy, <laughs> movie, bitey, yeah. and then like that's no, I want, I don't want. And then there's rip tides. Yeah. Oh Jesus. And those stories, you know, again, I grew up. I could see the beach from my house. You'd hear the story, the Telegram Tribune. Uh, someone died this weekend when they got caught in a rip tide. Yeah. Uh, we don't know where they went. 
Hmm. They're just out there somewhere. They're gone. Yeah. Yeah. Also, don't look up YouTube videos of people being attacked by sharks, like close calls right before you go to the beach, because that's not cool. Don't. That's you decided to do that yeah, beforehand, huh? Yeah. A friend of mine, her ex-husband, when they're married at the time, that's how they ended up getting shot. They, they used to all go to Hawaii. He got bit by a shark. He almost died. He was at like a half inch away oh, from I don't say that. Dying. I'm going to Hawaii in November. <laughs> stay, stay out of the water. Oh, son of when a bitch. When you can't feel the bottom, stay get out of the, the hell out. Oh, no. Uh, we're going to go snorkeling. It was on the news, all this kind of stuff. I went snorkeling. Snor- we had a shark scare, actually, when I Did went you? snorkeling in Maui. Yeah. We were out there snorkeling, and... Uh, this was Maui, by the way. This was Maui, where you're going, and... Uh, they had a guy, God like, damn it. they had the squad of people all out on surfboards, right. and they're, like, they tell telling everyone, they circle up around us, they're, like, get out, get back to the boat, and they, like, had to, like, pa- they scared off the shark by, like, pounding on the board and stuff okay. like that. It was a big old tiger shark. Oh, that, no, that's, tiger shark. That, yeah. that's what tiger attacked. Tiger shark. Yeah. That's what attacked my friend's yeah. husband, all right, yeah. now ex-husband. Tiger shark, two foot, maybe three foot kind of size tiger shark, he didn't know, he's standing in the water, but he's sitting there, and then all of a sudden he's like, ow, ooh, stingy, Ugh. weird. It almost bit through, I think, his right uh, leg from the knee down. Oh, Jesus. Um, and he was, this, he was this great guy. I, I, I haven't talked in a while, but it was a friend for a while, even if they got divorced. He, he just was like, all they heard on the beach, because my friend was reading a book and her mom was sitting there, they just hear, um, help, oh. help. Jesus. And he has a deep voice, and they're like, is that is that is that him? And yeah. They see him, and he's just kind of like, uh, help. The water's just all <laughs> and the water's dark blood, red and around And the shark's him. still around. Ah! Shark's still around, but doesn't want to eat him. Came, he didn't like yeah, take. He didn't came, like came back. It was, I won't describe it. It was gruesome. Uh, oh, all good, all healed. But the doctor said it missed your like femory artery or whatever. The medical, I didn't go to, I didn't finish medical. Yeah. Um, and he almost died. So, uh, capture, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys going, where are you guys going snorkeling? Molokini? I, but I, I, oh, what, bl- yeah. Bless you. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it was like a uh, macaroni-shaped little small island okay. that you can go to out off Maui. And All that's right. where we went. It was actually really beautiful. I'll, I'll make sure we go to a non-shark-infested <laughs> area in fucking Maui. <laughs> Where, where it's ocean around us. And then, right. they, then they, I think I was telling you, they took us to the part of the ocean where like they throw a piece of bread out, and it's not piranhas, but it's fish like piranhas, and they all just immediately swarm it's to not it. Not even barracudas. It's yeah. just it's, like it's barracudas. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm Maui's saying. Maui's dangerous. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Stay out of the ocean. God didn't intend us to go in there. Wanger's episode ninety five. Cops are dies by shark attack. <laughs> yeah, I get, God Fuck. Bless you. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't. And lakes are are, are even worse. Dude, I get Bull terrified. Sharks. In their lake. I, sharks, I did man. wakeboarding once in my life, immediately fell down, and I was like, get me out of here. I don't want it. Because I hated that feeling of just oh, hanging yeah, out yeah. in the water mm-hmm. while an alligator is about to fucking kill me. I was like, yeah. it's terrifying. Yeah, none of that stuff, man. Yeah. I mean, the baths I won't even do. Snake, <laughs> some snake's going to come up yeah, to the Or spider is in there or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 Freddy yeah. Krueger's glove. Yeah, exactly. I already <laughs> thought about that a lot. I get, I, yeah, I, you know, I have to, uh, you know, I, I, I'm okay with nature as long as I can look out my cabin. Yeah, and look at it. True. Yeah, yeah I'm very true. Yeah. Well, while we wrap this thing up, we're going to take a few questions from our Discord that are not Ooh. shark infested. Mm. Some that would be a lot of fun. Like, uh, we'll do this one. Like, uh, Cam's Scofie fifteen. Hey, Cam's uh, says that I'm rewatching the Harry Potter movies leading up to Fantastic Beasts. So he's got to ask, or she's got to ask. I'm not sure. Uh, what's your favorite moment in the franchise? For me, it's the time travel sequence in Prisoner of Azkaban. Do you like the Ooh. Harry Potter movies? I've seen them all. Okay. I enjoy them. I respect it. Mm-hmm. Um, not entirely my thing, but I do, yeah. I do like them. Okay. Um, uh, could you have a... Cody, you have a, a Yeah, sequence? I got a couple. Uh, in the last one, the whole Snape flashback, I think he's beautiful. I think it's really well done. It was, and then... Was that the one? It was me all along. Yeah. Was, was that the one? Okay. Yeah. When he's like, save them. And all that. It's, yeah. it's really nice. And then... Uh, save the dream. <laughs> back to uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily a time travel sequence, but when they're in the the tree house, not the tree house, you know what I mean. When the, they go the, inside the, the tree, the Whomping Willow. Yeah, they go yes. inside the tree, and all the rel- the everything's being revealed, and everything is just the whole world is like changing for Harry. The walls are yeah. literally moving all over the place. I think it's a brilliantly directed sequence. Yeah, I love uh, Order of Phoenix, the last mm-hmm. act, mm-hmm. where they're all, they're all in, fighting in this, uh, the Ministry of Magic, mm-hmm. and the first time that fucking Voldemort throws it down with yeah. fucking Dumbledore. Yeah, that's cool. That shit's fucking dope. Um, I loved, uh, oh, uh, in a uh, very underrated scene in um, uh, The Half-Blood Prince mm-hmm. is when Harry gets drunk off the love juice. Or not, not the love you juice, like but that, like the, huh? the truth serum, the kind of whatever it is. I like, was like, I'm going to go talk to Hagrid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, and, and then the professor's like, Harry. And he's like, sir. <laughs> like the way he responds, I think it's just so funny. Yeah. Um, I like that movie. Uh, yeah, I like, um, I like the scene where it's uh, Ron and uh, uh, Hermione. Mm-hmm. 
in their first night together when they mm. start dating officially. Oh yeah, yeah. And his wand's not working, and he's saying it's not <laughs> something he's experienced. I don't know if that one's that might be fan. It's in fiction. the director's cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, think yeah. it's fan fiction. Yeah. I read online. That's in the uh, the Rowling cut. <laughs> My little yeah yeah. Uh, but I do like which which it's one of the last two movies, and mm. it begins with like a teacher floating upside down being tortured. That is in that is part Deathly Hallows Part One. I yeah, like that. yeah. that's like, cool. Oh, this stuff's getting real. Yeah. 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 Snoke's the, got Ray up above there. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Oh, yeah. they stole it. Uh, they stole that. They did. Man. Kinda, yeah. Ryan Johnson, you yeah. shill. First Boycott you steal from Disney. Pokemon. Now yeah. you're still from Harry yes, Potter. Yes, he <laughs> did. Uh, oh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I want to revisit all those. I love those movies uh, so much. Uh, Andrew Neal says, most anticipated Andrew. movie to come out this year. I guess for the for the rest, rest of the year. I say Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, it's a big one. Very much looking forward to that one. That's a big one, probably. Um, we're kind of fans. <laughs> I might have to go. There's no Star Wars. There's no, no. Marvel. I mean, events. Aquaman. I'm just eh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm yeah. I think I'm. I might be there with you. Yeah. I never thought about it. Halloween. Yeah. That's probably the um, one. Predator. <clears throat> then I saw Ooh. it, and it's great. Ooh. Okay. I didn't like it at all. It's really good. Um, Best of the year. Since I don't work in a capacity where I have to be on movie talk anymore, <laughs> I'll tell you this. There's not one single movie I'm planning on seeing the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. And I look for like. Here's me. I the last Mission Impossible. What is it? What is it? Oh yeah, six. Dance Party USA. Oh. Yeah, like so. I love five. Five's a great. I love mm-hmm. that movie, and I was so excited. I was all Ten. excited with the. I was excited with the lady friend. I was like, let's go see it. She's like, I can't. I'm going home. It's a family tradition. We see all the Mission Impossibles together. Mm. I was like, okay, I'll just uh, I'll see it on my own. I still haven't seen it. Oh, Ken, it's so good. I know. I hear it's it so good. Oh my god. Ken, I don't mean to hype shit. I know. It, might, it honestly might be the greatest movie of all time. <laughs> <laughs> like it might I'm be the Citizen Kane of all movies. <laughs> like it might be really fucking good. It's well, really it. good. I'm, I'm a big fan of Tom Cruise. Yes. Um, Rebecca Ferguson. I, you know, great. I loved her in the last movie. Yeah. I, yeah. So, but that's kind of me in movies. Yeah, I get it. Mm. I just, I'd rather play MLB The Show 18. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get that dynasty. Yeah. Uh, Mission Impossible Six. That movie, that movie made me love movies and love life again. <laughs> like, it I did. Like, yes, this is amazing. Seeing an IMAX too. I just love feeling. Just seeing an IMAX. Yeah. Maybe it's still in theaters. Oh, you should check it out. Hey, even if it comes on Blu-ray, it's it's definitely worth. Yeah, the big enough screen well. now. It seems like yeah, it's, no, okay. it's fine. Um, I was gonna do a, a video question um, from one of our patrons, Ruben. Sorry, man. Um, I I can't get the phone the video right now. Oh, okay. But uh, we'll we'll make sure that we do it next week. Um, and then finally, let's do let's do one more. Let's see here. Um, oh, 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 I like this one. Uh, this one comes from K. Havion. K. Havion. Kai Thatch is his name. <laughs> <laughs> Kai Thatch. No, Kai. We, we have Kai Thatch. Kai. Oh, that is, that, is that his name? That's, that's his oh, name. well, then you know what? You know what? You just want a copy of Solo on Blu-ray. Oh, there you go. I, I promised that, and the message that I sent out for everybody with the Discord link. So there you go. And then before that, actually, how about uh, Andrew Neal? I hope you're a Patreon supporter. Uh, you got the digital download code, buddy. Oh! Congratulations. So contact us on patreon.com slash wangers. And if for some reason, if you just got the link and you're not a supporter, then you, you want to be Congratulations. Uh, so Kai mm. said, asks, uh, favorite book you were assigned to read in school? Ooh, Ooh that's, that's a, a great question. question. Yeah. That's a really um, good question. Uh, book, so, okay. Book. I was going to say Fiction. Most Dangerous Game, but that's a short story. Okay. Um, I was going to say uh, my favorite book of all time that mm-hmm. made me really fall in love into reading and writing is Frankenstein by Mary okay. Shelley. Hands okay. down, my favorite book of all time. Okay. Uh, in my senior year, the teacher had Frank. The two options were Frankenstein or Animal Farm, and the class voted on Animal Farm. So I ah. read Animal Farm, okay. Okay. which might be my favorite book that I read for school because it's really fucking good. Okay. I think Animal Farm is probably the one. I need to read that. I need to get into yeah. the Orwell. It's good. Orwell. Orwell. For me, I'm trying to remember. It's been a while, boys. It's been a while, boys. Um, I wasn't directly assigned it because mm-hmm. we did the Of Mice and Men and mm-hmm. all that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. But I had some choices, 12th grade English, and I read Shogun, which... Um, the Japanese? Yeah. Y- I know the term, well, Shogun. Well, Shogun, it's, it's it, like and so in the late warrior? 70s, yes, there was a... An adaptation of this was a TV miniseries. Oh, nice for home run there, yeah. buddy. No, it was a sword, a samurai sword. Man. Okay, I, I got it. I got it. Okay. Here we go. Racist. Um, <laughs> it was uh, Richard Chamberlain famously okay. starred in this miniseries in the late seventies. It was Shogun. Uh, you know, I think if you go back and watch, it might be somewhat problematic in these um, uh, times. Is it like a Tom Cruise in the Last Samurai? Uh, kind of, okay. kind of. But the book is like we're talking thousands of pages. 
long, and I, I chose to read it, and I, I had a, a good experience reading the book. It was mm. a journey. Interesting. It was a journey. Yeah. I loved I loved assignments because because you you get those kids that are like fuck reading I want to fucking read fuck that. but it's just like oh it's fun I think like, once you read a book and it's good it's such a rewarding oh yeah. yeah I mean I've yeah. I've read some stinkers some boring yeah. books for yeah. sure but I mean like I love the lovely the lovely bones that was fucking yeah. great yeah. lovely bones was great you yeah. know. Movie's not Beowulf. No, the movie's not good. Beowulf, movie's Beowulf not good was for fucking Beowulf great. Either. <laughs> I loved. I loved the movie. Sucks yeah, for Beowulf. But I think that might have been because I read the epic. Yeah, mm. that was a good one. I we like read that. Um, yeah. in college. We read Grendel. Yeah. Oh, the other one. Yeah. 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 So it's just from his percep- yeah. perspective. Yeah. It's fucking really good. Yeah. 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 You think? Because um, I know. Um, so Amber's sister is a teacher, mm-hmm. and uh, she sets her whole. Uh, classroom up to be like Harry Potter. She puts like the Whomping Willow, like she because she loves Harry Potter. What, what grade does she teach? She teaches right now oh, third or fourth grade. She okay. sw- she she's she switched back and forth. I thought you were gonna be like senior senior year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, she she's like had like she's had like a, a a whole group of students that have never read Harry Potter, and she's like opened that possibility up for them to if they because I think they have. Uh, I explained this on a few episodes ago where um, her new thing is that they have them. It's like a twenty one reading um assignment where they they choose like 21 different books from different genres and for the entire year i'm like fuck, that's really cool and so they she allows them to do harry potter i think has this ever happened Mm. where uh the school year starts she's got all the harry potter stuff and uh uh, she gets a note from a parent it's like keep this witch crap out of my oh Oh. jesus i can see i know has that ever happened no i don't want it to i've heard other stories about parents but not that that's interesting just wondering Hmm. Yeah, I mean, maybe if it was a private school, because I bet you, my mom would have done that. <laughs> oh, really? really? For Harry Potter? Yeah. Oh man, Jeez. keep this demonic stuff out of my <laughs> son's life. Wow. Yeah. Jesus. Well, you know, to each his own. Excuse me, now I'm burping. <laughs> we all got What's burp? in this okay. Pacifico? <laughs> and on that note, you're not going to be able to drive home. We poisoned it. Yeah. Uh, sleep thank sleep you so much, Ken. Floor. <laughs> yes, that you can sleep on my ah, floor. Full circle. Full circle. <laughs> You are welcome on my floor anytime. Yep. Amber's just going to come in. She's like, why is Ken? She's like, trust me. Don't worry about it. Just trust me. Don't worry. He earned it. He earned it. Uh, thank you, Ken, for joining us on this episode this of The Wagner Show. My pleasure, as yeah. always. We'll do a few more extra minutes on our Patreon section, so mm-hmm. if you want to see what we're going to talk about, that we're going to talk so much shit on everybody that we Woo! know. Fantasy uh, update. Fantasy update. We're going to be talking Pulling about that. Pulling that up right now. Um, and uh, Ken, please tell everybody where they can find you on the social medias, the Patreons, the podcasts, everything yeah. that you do. You can follow me at Ken Napsuck, and that's going to get you to a lot of things, but the Napsuck files, actually not the, napsuckfiles.podomatic.net. Get to all my podcast stuff, The Afternoons with Josh and Ken. Force Center, if you want to dive deep into Star Wars, and your name's not JTE, because you think the scene in Solo where he gets his name is stupid, because you, you don't fucker. understand the emotional canon of that movie. Fuck you, Josh. And you want to learn something about Star Wars, come over to Force Center. Yeah, you little Ooh. bitch. Uh, and then uh, kidding, Josh, I love you. Uh, you, YouTube, I'm on YouTube with my motivation videos. Yes. Twitch streaming when I can. Mm-hmm. All the good stuff, um, but you know, uh, in the Patreon pages of patreon.com slash files. just follow me, and we'll go on an adventure together. Support this man. I love everything that this man does. The, yeah. the only opinion on Star Wars that I trust, really. I mean, I, look, yeah. I don't need you to love everything. Just okay, don't well, tweet out a meme. <laughs> how stupid is this scene? You fuck. When I can write four pages yeah. about how important it is that he got his name solo from the Empire. Yeah, Josh. I'll write you four pages, He'll Josh. write you, you fucking Bitch. I'll do it. Just kidding, Josh. I fucking love you, but you're stupid. Something. You're best. Thank you, Ken. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> and with that being said, uh, more music is playing. We're all happy. It's a fun. good song. It's a great song. Hey, power, shower, power song. hour, whatever yeah. the hell it's called. Uh, we're going to have to have Josh back on here. To yeah. Debate it. I'll be up. I want to create a show where people come on and debate things. And uh, it's about movies. But it's like a fight. It's, yeah, it's like kind of like a fight, but they, you know, it'll be like a punch brawl. each other. They punch case. each other. Metaphorically speaking. F- metaphorically, oh, an yes. actual yeah. Movie yeah. Movie fight. Ooh. <laughs> like depicted from specific scenes. They so, use like, actual props. We'll do movies. like Rocky Five in the alleyway. Yeah, yeah. They come dressed out bone. Yeah, I'm ready. These characters. Ooh. <laughs> we give them names. Okay. Like the Crusher, yeah, or the Outlaw, yeah, of course. <laughs> and they have to come in dressed as these characters and yeah. physically fight, physically fight yeah. each other. We do, even though they really like each other in real life. They have to they hate have each to other. We'll go to we'll go to the edge of a waterfall and recreate a... the Black Panther fight scene. <laughs> <laughs> Just redo all that. 